Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Humaira Fatimi binti Ahmad Faizul. Hi, my name is Nur Liana binti Mama Afendi. Present to you our research study with the title The Nature of Leadership Practice in Malaysia. Different leader will affect the employee behavioural among the employees at Maidin, Tesco and Econsafe in Beranang, Selangor. I will start with the research background. The term of leadership style refers to the pattern of behavior used by leaders to integrate organizational and personal interests in accomplishing the goal or objective. Therefore, a leadership style is known as the characteristic behavior of leader when directing, motivating, guiding, and managing a group of people. The reason why leadership style is interrelated to the follower is the type of leadership style found in an organization have a lot to do with strategy implementation. Therefore, what leadership style practice by the leader would leave an impact on their followers. The impact can be good and bad to the follower because it will depend on the leadership style used by their leaders. Moreover, that such impact will affect the follower in the way they will follow and use if they become a leader one day. Therefore, through this study, we try to find the relationship between the three variables involved, that is whether the type and behavior of the leader will affect the behavior of their followers. Next is the problem statement. In 2019, according to admin, leaders can become complacent, which then result in unconscious bias in decision making. To understand their unconscious bias, leaders should examine the type of people they surround themselves with. If they are honest, they will soon see patterns in the profile of people they employ. This statement means most leaders in recent years are not honest with their subordinates. They often become biased within the employee since there may be an employee that they like and dislike. Besides, there are also many cases that a leader always take bribes to get something. This shows that there is still no awareness among workers in Malaysia as dedicated and honest leaders. If such things continue to happen, more and more leaders are born who are less dedicated, irresponsible and become leaders who do not help their employees in achieving the goal of the organization. Then, we will continue this presentation with the research question and also the research objective. Our research question in this study are First, what type of leadership style exists in the organization? The second is what kind of leadership behavior exists in Malaysia? And the last research question is what is the effect of leadership on the followers? While the first objective in this study is we want to find out whether there is an awareness based on the demographic of employees about the perception of the follower theory. Then, we also want to know whether the follower behavior is dependent on the leadership style and behavior. And the most important objective is to determine the relationship between leadership style and leader behavior on the effect of the follower. Now, my partner will continue their presentation. Now, I will explain about the conceptual framework in this study. For this study, there are some variables that involve. In this study, there are two independent variables and one dependent variables. The ship style and leader's behavior are the independent variable, and effect to the follower is the dependent variable. So now, how the two independent variables will link to the dependent variable? An overview of relevant literature determined is numerous specific perspectives of re and research associated with how leadership style can affect the follower and grow to the produce diverse followership style. Based on YY 2009 study in Thailand, the determined out that autocratic leadership was to supply passive followers observed out through participative management become probably to produce exemplary or pragmatic follower and delegative leadership was possible to supply pragmatic or, or compromise follower. Next, based on a review of a relevant study that has been discovered, 
There are many different view and study related to the influences of leader behavior toward leadership followership style. A study by Hunter 2007 found that leaders' behavior and perception influence subordinate action and perception, resulting in some form of intended consequence. Throughout those explanations, this study implements two hypotheses. The first is the effect on the followers is dependent on the variables, which is leadership style and leader behavior. And the second is there is a significant relationship between the variable, which is leadership style and leader behavior, on the effect to the follower. But in this presentation, we will focus on the first hypothesis. Let's continue with the research methodology. This study aims to get the response from employees working in Maidin, Tesco, and Econsafe supermarket in the Diranang area to find out their views on the impact of their leaders' attitude on themselves. In order to achieve the objective of this study, a cross-sectional design using a quantitative method will be used in this study. A quantitative research method will be used because this research relies on the primary data from a survey that we will conduct through a questionnaire. Next, as this study are to find out the employee's opinion regarding the effect of followers, which is an employee, through the leader's type and leader behavior, therefore, the unit of analysis used is the individual employees at supermarket, Tesco, Maiden, and Econsafe. For the sample size, we have chosen a total of 296 respondents who work in my then Tesco EconSafe to be our sample. The sampling technique is a process to select a group of sample from the total population to be used in the research. And in this study, the proposed sampling technique is stratified sampling, as the study will be done will be done in three different types of supermarket, which means three strata. Uh, which are Tesco, Maiden, and Econsafe. For the data measurement, to retrieve the respondent feedback, a set of the questionnaire will be designed based on variable used in the study. A questionnaire is a research tool that has a variety of questions and information to gather information and it is made as a set of formalized to get a response from the respondent. For the data collection, it will consist of five sections, where section A is about the respondent demographic that have eight questions. Section B is about the ideas about leadership style that consists seven questions. Section C has three questions that will ask about the ideas about the leadership behavior. Section D has eight questions regarding the ideas about followers. And lastly, question in section E is about the effect on the followers. Now, I will continue with the research finding. For the demographic profile, males and females have the same number of respondents with 148 respondents per gender. Next, the majority of respondents are under 30 years old with 274 respondents, while the remaining 22 respondents are those aged 30 years old and above. In addition, employees with less than 5 years of number of work experience were the majority with 250 respondents, while employees with 6 to 10 years of work experience had only 38 respondents and only 8 respondents who have more than 10 years of work experience. As for the type of worker, ordinary employees monopolized the number with 261 respondents, resulting in the rest which are middle worker and upper worker had only 31 people and 4 Respondent respectively. Demographic analysis of respondent continue with the single respondent having the highest value with 234 respondent, while only 61 respondent were married and only one respondent had divorce status. Next, a total of 245 respondent of the Malay race has a monopoly on the number of respondent. Indians had Indians have only 47 respondents, while Chinese respondents are only 4. Respondent with education Respondent with education at the high school level are the highest at 112 respondents, 
while diplomas come at the second level of education with a total of 106 respondents, followed by a degree of 73 respondents. The remaining level of education, namely Masters and PhD, hold the number of respondents res respectively as many as 3 people and 2 people. Therefore, it can be concluded that as many as 125 respondents are employees at Tesco. 81 respondents are employees at Maidin and the remaining 90 respondents are employed and are employees at Econsafe supermarket have participated in answering this question. Next is the main findings. The first objective is to find out whether there is an awareness based on the demographic of employees about the perception of the follower theory. The result came as the analysis conducted could not prove that the idea about followers is dependent on gender. With the uh, value of p-value is 0 0.792, whereas x squared is equal to 17.353. The analysis also showed that the type of followers did not depend on their work experience because of the uh, p-value equal to 0 0.364 and x square 48.72 and their workplace which p-value equal to 0 0.369 and x square is equal to 47.883. However, there is only one variable that can prove their relationship that is, the analysis show that the idea about follower depend on their level of education with, with p-value equal to 0 0.000 and x square equal to 152.573. Therefore, all of our hypotheses are successfully supported. The second objective is to determine whether the effect of the followers is dependent on the level, on the leader style and leader's behavior. The two variables tested show an independent relationship with each other. There is no evidence that the effect of followers is dependent on the leader style with p-value equal to 0 0.975 and x square is 384.649 and the leader's behavior with p-value equal to 0 0.128 and x square equal to 98.868. Therefore, since the null hypothesis said that the effect on the followers is dependent on both variables, the hypothesis was rejected. And the last objective is to determine the relationship between leader's type and leader's behavior towards the effect on followers where the, where the result are there is a positive but weak relationship between leader style with r equal to 0 0.237 and p-value equal to 0 0.000 and the effect of follower. However, between the leader's behavior and the effect on follower, it is reported that there is no direct relationship uh, with each other. Uh, with the value of R is equal to 0 0.124 and p-value equal to 0 0.33. Therefore, the only hypothesis made for leadership style is accepted. This study finding have some implication for research and practice. The result can guide leaders in determine, determining which type of leadership style is most suited in terms of outcome and how to alter their leadership style to make them more successful and result-oriented. In terms of practical application, we may assume that, lead, that leader behavior is significant and that organization must address negative leader behavior. At the same time, leaders should be made aware that their action may appear ambiguous in practice 
be vulnerable to wider effect and thus have negative consequences for their followers. Furthermore, providing students with information about followers, leadership style, and little behavior conduct will benefit them in developing respect and trust with subordinate in the workplace. The limitation for this study is employees who were in supermarket were the only one included in the research. Because the sample of this study mainly reflect employees working in three large supermarkets in Burana, namely Tesco, Maiden and Econsafe, it cannot represent all employees working in supermarket throughout Malaysia. Furthermore, the lack of completeness of this study is linked to the COVID-19 affected scenario in Malaysia. The research inconsistency result from our limited mobility in doing it as the study had to be conducted remotely in order to comply with the government standard operation procedure SOP. Based on the finding, this study recommends some suggestions for the future study. The first is, as the followership style are nevertheless an under-research topic, regardless of its crucial further study is wanted the use of the different methodologies and in unique setting. Next, this study also recommends the further study is needed to clarify the leadership style and leader behavior dependent on the effect to the followers. Since the finding did not show that it depends on the effect to the follower. Finally, the, the sample in this study only derived from employees working at the supermarket in a specific location. In addition, only 296 people respond to the survey. The fourth in future research the sample size must be large, thus the response were employees from the various sectors. Based on this study, we identified that some type of followers exist among employers in Malaysia. It happened due to the several factors which can influence and impact the followers. Followership is a sturdy concept and a few may say it's a the new form of leadership. However, now they no more have launched into followership study. This study was emphasized description and explanation outside of general followership style to research and use as a foundation for deeper understanding and to discover trace of trace for further research. That's all from us. Thank you for listening and watching our video presentation.